Class AA Boys Regionals on Thursday. Wyoming East hosting Liberty. First quarter, Warriors work the ball around the perimeter. A pass inside to Tanner Witten, who maneuvers for two, and he draws the foul. But the Raiders answer not long after. Ethan Williams on the right wing, going inside the arc for a pull-up jumper. Counted. Wyoming East does lead after one. In the second quarter, Garrett Mitchell creating space on the wing. He moves toward the paint, and a spin move to try a mid-range jumper. Counted. Part of a big individual night for him. But at the other end of the court, Adam McGee left at the top of the key to Adam Drennan who converts this lay-in. It's a five-point game at halftime. Wyoming East up 27-22. Third quarter, Cole Lambert will recover a loose ball. Witten moving down court quickly. A give-and-go with Mitchell, and this basket would add to the Warrior lead. The Liberty still making plays in the second half. A shot here is a bit strong, but Drennan in great position for a rebound, and he would score on the putback. But the Warriors keeping their lead throughout the second half. Witten over to Mitchell, who will connect for three from the right wing as Wyoming East heads to States for the first time since 2017. They win final score 61 to 44. But I'm just happy for my seniors. Uh, they worked their tail off this offseason and all year just to get to Charleston uh, and win a state championship or compete for a state championship. And that's the goal every year. So we knew we were going to get their best shot. We knew they were going to play hard. And we knew they improved uh, throughout the year from the last time we played them. And I think you've seen it tonight. I think we have shooters everywhere on the floor. That comes in handy with a team that plays pretty good defense. So I think. I think we got a chance to make a pretty good run down there next week. Well, the second Region 3 co-final featuring Bluefield at Chapmanville. The Beavers going on to win 51-42 and return to Charleston. The class AA bracket has been announced. And yes, Wyoming East and Bluefield will play each other in the quarterfinals next Wednesday at 11.15 a.m. Southern West Virginia has five boys teams total in the state tournament. First time we've had that many since 2015.